For Jackson, Mayor Tony Yarber, special events and ceremonies are part of the job. I take it. You take it. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to see you. Good to see you. How's everything? Everything's great. That's hey, good. Tony. Hello. You are beautiful. But this day at Batson Children's Hospital was anything but typical. You're doing good? Yes, ma'am. Um, when she was less than a year old, the mayor's daughter, Tony, was diagnosed with cancer. You could imagine uh, two young parents with a, a brand new baby and to find out that uh, she has uh, uh, a potentially life-threatening illness. It was like a teratoma of her ovary, which is more common than you would think in young girls. Uh, usually it presents with pain, swelling in their abdomen. Uh, usually it's resectable. We look to see if there are malignant elements in it. Thankfully, they didn't have to have chemotherapy or radiation, so she had surgery and then we just followed her really closely for five years. She received all clear and everything is well and I've got a beautiful nine-year-old who is thriving at APAC in their theater program. And she is full of drama. What's the most fun thing you do? Act. And you can use any kind of voice and stuff that you want. Do you remember much of this building? Yes. You can remember being here. How did Tony do with all of it? She was a champ. She was a trooper. She was excellent. She was great. How is she now? <laughs> Vibrant, witty. I had to place all my daddy power in Dr. Megason's hand and, uh, and, and believe that she and her team had the capacity and the um, prowess to be able to pro provide my child a healthy uh, quality of life. Obviously they wanted the best for their child. We're just delighted that they put her in our hands and that we were able to follow her. Thank God for Dr. Megason and her team and the staff here in the entire, you know, Blair Benson oncology clinic they were excellent so my wife and I uh, wanted we, we, we wanted to be able to we've always thought about what are the ways that we could give back to this hospital and that idea was to use this bully pulpit to celebrate and support a hospital that uh, supported my family through a very hard time and to ensure that every Jacksonian every Mississippian understands and knows that our responsibility to this hospital is a great responsibility we understand that there are other hospitals who compete for for fun in fundraising efforts, but this is our hospital. This is uh, Mississippi's Children's Hospital, and I believe that uh, our responsibility is to take care of home first. Uh, and so we decided uh, that we would do a proclamation. I, Tony T. Yarber, Mayor of the City of Jackson, Mississippi, do hereby proclaim November 10, 2014 as Batson Children's Day throughout the City of Jackson, Mississippi, and strongly urge all citizens to become active supporters and champions of the Blair E. Batson Children's Hospital given under my hand and seal of the City of Jackson, Mississippi, the 10th day of November 2012. Thank you. We have a big responsibility as a children's hospital and we take it very seriously. We've taken on a, a new mission in the last couple years to, to touch and have an impact on every child in Mississippi and we want to influence their health and their well-being. This is the beginning of a, of a wonderful partnership that we're going to have with the city. It's our way of saying thank you uh, to the hospital, to this institution for their commitment to um, the health of every child in Mississippi. This is a hospital that um, specifically does not turn children away. Um, this is the hospital that cares for every child that comes through the door. This is the hospital that uh, is right here in our back door. And so it's our obligation to wrap arms around this hospital and support the efforts uh, that um, they, they endeavor to do. Uh, that's why we do this, because they come back and they look so good. That's yeah. right. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. To learn more about Batson Children's Hospital, go to umc.edu. I'm Jim Albritton reporting.